back again. Um, still having issues uh, in the body with this poison. Um, so I was feeling pretty crappy. <clears throat> Sorry. I was feeling pretty crappy as, a, as this is causing all kinds of other issues in the body with um, allergy uh, <laughs> response. And I was sitting here in what wallowing in self misery, right? Like, oh, I feel so crappy. Um, and I thought, okay. The idea came into the mind that said, let's do a gratitude practice. And so I started with that, and it was something like, thank you, Father, for the life that lives through me. Thank you, Father, for the experience I'm having, even though I don't see the benefit in it, even though I don't feel well, Thank you for your wisdom and your guidance. Thank you for your constant participation in my life experience. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And continue to thank you, Father, that I know not the purpose of things. Which then led to thank you for allowing me to forget all that I know that I might have this experience. Because I had spoken about, um, I have spoken about the great forgetting, which was necessary for us to have the human experience. If you know yourself as love, you know yourself as perfection, you know yourself as perfect health, you know yourself as these things, then it isn't possible to experience unhealth or lack of good health or imperfect health if we know ourselves as absolute love we are not able to have the experience that is something other than that this is how we came to be incarnate in an earthly form or at least the human form <clears throat> because if we knew ourselves every moment without needing to remember our absolute divinity, we couldn't have the human experience. Um, there is some, the ego is necessary. What is the ego? The ego is really nothing more than the program of forgetting in a sense um, the ego is part of that veil that allows us to deny what we really are in order to have the human experience so those who, those who have mastered the human experience, um, I guess experience more blissfulness. Mm. But then again, who knows what that is for, for real. What is bliss for real? You know, do you really know what that is? Do you really know what that looks like? Uh, what is happiness? Mm. We have ideas, labels of these things. Do we really know that that's what it is? Are we able to perceive in totality these things? 
I would say it isn't until we achieve that level of bliss that we even know what it is. You know, um, I guess I could relate it to relationships because having had different romantic relationships, I can say that each one was better than the one before. Because it's not until you reach that level of a, a, a heightened level of communion, okay? So with each relationship, it seemed like there was more of a communion, a mutual loving, and each one was more of that or to a higher degree. So, you know, you're in the first relationship and you're like, oh, this is the happiest I've ever felt in a relationship until you're not and the relationship ends. And then because of what you've learned from that relationship, hopefully, you make different choices in regard to the next relationship. And then the next relationship, you're like, oh, wow, this is, you know, I'm, I'm much more content and much more fulfilled in this relationship until you don't. Excuse me. Okay, sorry. Uh, puppy was misbehaving. Um, so I think where I left off was until you're not happy in that relationship and it ends. And then the next relationship comes, and again, you make different choices based on the one, the two previous relationships. And then when you're in the third relationship, you're like, wow, this is way better than even the last relationship. And it's all kind of just like a learning curve. The, the longer we go through life, the more we realize what works for us and what doesn't work for us. And sometimes, you know, certain people come into our lives because it, it is serving us in the moment or we are serving them in the moment or it's mutual until that's no longer the case. So anyway, um, here we are today with this rambling rant and of whatever this is. I guess this, the purpose of this message is just a reminder. Just a minute. It's just a reminder that it is beneficial for us in times of challenge to remember to, as they say, count our blessings. Um, what are we grateful for? What, what in this moment can I be thankful for and to focus my attention there because it really does work because as soon as I started to say, oh, thank you for, thank you for the life that lives through me. Thank you that I am not this body. Thank you that, that my home is a place where, um, there is no disease. There is no misery. Thank you that that is a possibility for us too. So to have, I'm going to use another one, to have an attitude of gratitude. Um, so this is just a reminder for today. I am really, I must, I must apologize because I am feeling pretty crappy. Um, uh, and it's amazing that poison can do this, but, you know, I've had it now for a week, uh, how many weeks and, and it's really wearing on me. Um, and then all of the other side effects coming from it, like, you know, the asthma issues coming about and, um, it's really kind of miserable, <laughs> but, but I know that this is serving me in some way and 
it's possible that, it's possible that when I figure it out, it might just miraculously disappear because I got the message. That's possible. Um, and so, you know, I think it's something greater than don't play in poison, right? Because honestly, I, I didn't see it coming. Um, I took the precautions <laughs> and it's still still happened so I need to I do need to be aware that there may be a message in in that alone but it, maybe it's just you know something that's coming to um, guide me to another path and that's possible too um, I have a lot of mentholated stuff on so it's um, causing a lot of vapors in my eyes too so I'm blinking a lot and um because it's almost it's menthol and you know I'm, I'm putting it pretty close not all the way up on my face but pretty close so lots of things going on here that that I need to really <laughs> focus on the positive aspects of truth the reality of every moment. In peace and love, may you be blessed.